frostbite happens really whenever things get too cold. And so people are most at risk for frostbite when the temperature gets down closer to zero or if it's very, very windy or if it's wet. Areas of the body that are highest risk for frostbite are really areas that don't get great blood supply. And so the tips of your fingers, the tips of your ears, tips of your nose, and your toes tend to be the highest risk areas for frostbite. Hypothermia is a much more serious condition and certainly can be a life-threatening condition. It can happen in temperatures that aren't even as cold uh, as can occur with frostbite. Um, but oftentimes people that have um, that are elderly or young or, or may not be as well as adapting to the cold, uh, aren't dressed properly for being outside, uh, folks like that can be exposed and, be, and develop hypothermia at that point. Early on, you develop something called frost nip, where there's sort of a burning sensation and you know, your fingertips or your ears may turn kind of red. Anybody that's been outside for any length of time has certainly felt that. And then frostbite really starts when you sort of stay outside and those areas continue to be exposed. And then they transition from being a sort of red burning sensation to be more numb and become white at that point. And that's the sign when there's real tissue damages happening. If your hands have gotten to the point where they are turning white or you really can't feel them anymore, then that's where you need to be more gentle about rewarming. The way that you should try and fix them at home is certainly if you have a, a warm pan of water or a warm bath, definitely not hot, you know, something around 100 degrees, so just a little bit warmer than standard body temperature, and gently put your fingers or your toes or whatever it is into that warm bath. And that can more gradually bring them up to an appropriate body temperature. If you've, you've done the right things, you've rewarmed your hands, but then you still can't feel them. They're still a little bit numb, the coloration still isn't right, then those are the cases that you need to seek medical attention.